Bastards is an outrage. We shall chase these intruders down. I was chased by a gigantic falcon two nights ago. Welcome to the Ascalon Club, then, Dr. Reed. I think Lord Redgrave just suggested I was sired by an ancient vampire. Good evening, miss. Oh, my God, no. Please, Mr. Vampire, don't kill me. Please, no. I'm too young to die. I still have so much to offer this world. Wait, no. Why do you think I would... What? Don't worry, Dr. Reed. I know you wouldn't harm me. Mother told me you were in this part of town and might drop by. Your mother? My name is Charlotte, sir. Charlotte Ashbury. My mother taught me long ago how to recognize the signs that betray a vampire. I understand she also taught you how to tease and gently mock innocent young Ekons. It's a pleasure to meet you, Miss Charlotte. I'm investigating the source of the epidemic in this district. Have you noticed anything unusual recently? A few days ago, I spotted a strange house while campaigning for women's suffrage. Awful smell. No answer when I knocked. Where is it? It's the Mullaney's. A nice family who live in a big house near the park in the eastern part of this neighborhood. Goodbye, Charlotte. Give my best regards to your mother when you see her. She's been quite busy these last few nights. I suspect you may see her before me. Why are vampire hunters sniffing around here? I need to find out who they are. This woman's body has multiple lacerations. They're deep, too. Whoever did this was driven by rage. This one's neck is broken. He was young. Probably the sun. your family. They mocked my talent!
seen such a radical mutation. Could it be a new stage in the disease's evolution? So, this girl took lessons at the famous Doris Fletcher acting school. Good evening, miss. Can I help you? I'm a doctor. Dr. Jonathan Reed. I am... I am... Karina Billow. I don't need any doctor. The rats. Where are the rats? Miss, you don't seem well at all. Are you afraid of rats? Has one bitten you? No. It's me who bites them. Tasty, juicy... Rats! I can't stop eating them! Help me, please! Help me to disobey the voice! I'm investigating the source of the epidemic in this district. Have you noticed anything unusual recently? Infection. Infection. The rats carry it, I, I heard. Rats. 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 Many rats around that big house. Funny smell, too. Dead flesh. And where is this house? West of the park. Not very far. A, a big house with no sound, no light, no life left. I must go now. Goodbye, Miss Billow. Good evening, sir. May I have your attention, please? Come on, Johnny. Don't you recognize your oldest friend? Clarence. Clarence Crossley. How are you? My God. So you survived the war, too. So sorry I didn't recognize you at first. I almost didn't recognize you, either. War does that to men, I heard. In my case, it was true, for... I've witnessed the horror that lies underneath. I'm investigating the source of the epidemic in this district. Can you help me? Infection is everywhere these days. But if you ever go to the park near that swanky house belonging to the Malanies. Yes? What about the Malanies? What about their house? Not enough noise for a big family with children. Not enough movement. Closed doors. What is going on in there? I wonder. You need some rest, Clarence. You should try to sleep. We men and women. Women of all countries unite. Women die too in this war. Rats. The 
those clever rodents are cautious now, they won't approach. I must go now. Goodbye, Miss Billow. between men and women. Good evening, Miss Ashbury. And good evening to you, Dr. Reed. Goodbye, Charlotte. Give my best regards to your mother when you see her. She's been quite busy these last few nights. I suspect you may see her before me. This is an outrage. We shall chase these intruders down. I was chased by a gigantic falcon two nights ago. Good evening, ago. Dr. Reed. 
How does it feel to be this evening's centerpiece? Figuratively. I feel perfectly fine. Do I have cause for concern? Do not be alarmed. The Ascalon Club has a tried and tested policy for choosing its initiates. May I ask who you are, sir? Why would you be interested? Well, as you seem to be the only man in the room with a beating heart, you draw quite a bit of attention yourself. Ah, vampire senses never cease to fascinate me. They dwarf those of mere mortals. I am Aloysius Dawson, by the way. Mr. Dawson, of Dawson and Dawson, the wealthiest man in England. It is a pleasure to meet such a prominent figure of London. A withering London figurehead, to be precise. Are you sick, Mr. Dawson? I am a doctor, you know. My case is beyond the scope of traditional medicine. I have spent fortunes on the world's most competent doctors to arrive at that diagnostic conclusion. I'm sorry to hear that, sir. Should I suppose that you're here in search of some form of immortality? Absolutely not. I'm here to implement my plan to save the city I was born in. To cast out the ghastly evil that has us all on our knees. Money cannot solve every problem. This mysterious epidemic is going to require more than money can buy. You're right. Money is nothing unless one has the will to wield it. I have a plan, sir. A radical one that will save all that is essential in London. What is your plan, then? Quarantine and barricades are futile. What we need is a wall. A formidable, unscalable wall to isolate the deserving from the infected masses. But that would segregate the rich from the poor, would it not? It would be unjust. Our only course of action must be to save England. And to save England, we have to make sacrifices. Are you not mistaking sacrifice for summary execution? Why do you care? Are you not a vampire? Removed from all mortal concerns? Decisiveness is what the city needs. And it needs it now. Welcome to the Ascalon. Good evening, old chap. Are you all right? I won't lie to you, Johnny. I'm not a well man. You need some rest, Clarence. You should try to sleep. Good evening, sir. Please forgive me for disturbing you. I'm a doctor. I never judge a man by his title, but by his attitude. And you are not disturbing me at all. I am Calhoun Russell, and I welcome you. Well, I must admit, it's good to receive a warm welcome for once. I'm Dr... I'm Jonathan Reed. Welcome, Dr. Reed. Welcome to my humble shop. 
I'm investigating the source of the epidemic in this district. Have you noticed anything unusual? Not really. Wait, now that you mention it, I don't see the McPhersons in my favorite restaurants. They love delicate meals too, you understand? Thank you. It may be nothing, but I'll investigate anyway. Where do they live? They have a house in the southern part of the district, somewhere north of the railway bridge. There is a courtyard, if I remember rightly. Goodbye, Mr. Russell. I'm sure you'll take care of yourself. That building is under quarantine. Could this be what I'm looking for?
infected the whole family. I said I wanted to leave. <laughs> So the husband had an affair with Doris Fletcher.